Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy of the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're still in the underground lab, the uh, laboratory at the Roseway where, uh, yeah, they were doing some really weird experiments to make some really weird products like toothpaste that um, could make you slimmer. So diet toothpaste, which is, I mean, this is a bit weird now, isn't it, Felix? And there's like these really cool plates, because I never really paid attention to them, but there's a lot of those uh, plates around the place that really hammer in the fact that the, the situation is really absurd at the moment. Employer rights, instead of employee rights, under the Biased Labor Standards Act. The Biased, Biased Labor Standards Act. Wage determined by merit of your work over time may result in higher pay if the quality of said work is considered exemplary. So... The employer can actually decide whether you're, get, you're getting overtime pay if your work is good enough. But if they just decide that, no, that work wasn't good enough, you're not going to get extra uh, pay. And your employer has a right to dock your pay should you damage any facilities or equipment. It is your responsibility, not your employers, to avoid workplace hazards. Again, this is ridiculous. I'm going to just take some baked beans from these guys. I'm going to start stealing stuff because I don't like these people. I don't like these people at all, but we're here to kind of help these people. Because, um, yeah, uh, this, uh, something went wrong. A, a bunch of odd laws set, set uh, a bunch of very creepy monsters free. And that kind of caused those monsters, said monsters, the raptodons, the raptodons, that was it, to kill all the scientists over here. But apparently not just the scientists, because this odd law striker has lost an arm. Um, and I have, because I have multiple objectives, so I can eliminate the outlaws. Uh, I need to tranquilize the raptodons. Anton's data, maybe we should check that out first. Because of course Anton, the guy that we're doing this for, um, has some, some, well, some research. Can I actually get that from here? There's a lot of corpses. This guy is nicely lit though. Um, okay, seems nice and quiet. So Anton's office, let's grab everything over here. We kind of persuaded him to give uh, us his key. So that should give us the opportunity to, oh, okay. So the safe has been forcibly opened with its contents tossed about haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various aborted projects. Anton's prized research is nowhere to be found. Scorch marks along the rim suggest the work of unsubtle thieves. Outlaws most likely made off with Anton's I'm work. That all the nothing in that safe isn't what we were expected to find. No, Parvati, you have uh, an astute sense of observation. Um, there's absolutely nothing for us here, aside from some uh, bypass shunts, which is annoying. So the uh, the uh, dialogue check we passed doesn't really do anything, if I understand. Wait, what? I saw money in there, but it disappeared without me pressing the button. Okay, let's use this. Uh, security lockdown, but from Jeff Tremel, project director, the latest batch is showing great promise, Anton, and though I hesitate to tempt the fates, I might even dare to say it's a smashing success. Incidents of cavities have dropped significantly in the test subjects using the toothpaste with only minor side effects. Nothing too serious, mind you, just a touch of politeness. So if you could look into that, that would be appreciated. Keep this up and you'll find yourself in Byzantium post haste. Upon further review of our, our results, we've uncovered something quite fascinating. While the toothpaste does reduce cavities, it does so only nominally more, nominally more than the current version. Our results were skewed by the fact that our test subjects had a marked de de decrease in appetite and hence were eating much less. That will teach us to monitor our subjects more closely, eh? Seriously though, the appetite suppressant qualities of this new formulation are quite incredible. Though the taste and texture leave something to be desired, so we'd like to that for that to be your focus moving forward. No need to waste any more time on the blindness thing, we've got the boys in marketing working on a solution on our end. Okay. Seriously Anton, you really must let the whole blindness thing go. Your dedication to solving it is admirable, but also a bit misguided I dare say. It's really not that big of an issue in the grand scope of this whole thing, and pales in comparison to the texture and flavor issues, which we'd prefer for you to spend all your time on. You're also mistaking about the ultimate goals for the product. The appetite suppressant qualities make this something much more valuable in the townships than even in Byzantium. 
The need for less food to satisfy our workers can add greatly to our bottom line, so marketing is focusing their efforts in that direction. I'm not certain, but that may have something to do with them rejecting your app zap suggestion for the name. Let's leave marketing to the marketing department, shall we? Okay, so they were gonna... They were fine with everybody being blind because of toothpaste. Would you guys like to become blind because you were brushing your teeth and making sure you have proper oral hygiene? I, I wouldn't think so, would we? I must say it's really, really quiet in this place. Like, so quiet it seems like everyone is dead. Um, I don't know if I checked this door out. There's no marker here, but of course, in true gaming fashion, we always go to where the marker doesn't tell us to go. Aha! There's a sanative gas canister here. A label on the canister states... Cleo's Raptigon is guaranteed to render even the largest Raptodon unconscious for no less than 6 hours and has a refreshing antiseptic scent. Should a method for gas dispersal be found, this canister may prove very useful. Okay, so that's a way to take out the Raptodons without killing them. Which is what Anton wanted us to do. So this is the terminal of Orson Shaw. He got three emails from Finley, Estes Finley. Orson, you assured me the new lunch rations are harmless. But I've experienced an unexpected flood of symptoms. I have logged a regular seepage every afternoon between blah blah blah. Please find what I consider the evidence deposited in your mailbox. Orson, I took your alt or auto mechanical parts back. I catched you... S oh, if I... Probably, if I catch you swiping for maintenance again, I'll slap you down so hard to feel it in Byzantium. We've got enough problems keeping them contraptions running. And hey Orson, if you're up for it, there should be a new batch of concentrated distillate available tonight. Okay, so they were just making uh, arrangements to uh, party outside. Because that was referring to booze, I would assume. So, with all of that done... We should have what we need. I love that that wasn't marked, by the way, the gas. We should have a way of taking out the raptodons without killing them. And I feel like that's a, a, a special, well, quest requirement. And I, I do want to do the special quest requirements, even hey, though... You! Um, Over here! Ha hi! Cassandra O'Malley. Let's let's have a little... I should put... No, no, no. I'm just gonna... No, can I... Can I, can I put that away? Thank you. Yes. Hi! Oh good, you're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Okay, but um, I've never met anyone named Crane. I don't think the lie will help me here. Um, Anton wants a pro- mm. not, None of these actually help me out. You've got the wrong idea about me. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. Okay. But your people actually shot at me outside already, so I don't know if I want to help you. Um, you're going to have to make me a better offer. You know what? Tell me what you need. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Okay. Um, Anton was worried you might have made off with his research. But uh, yeah, we kind of know that. Sandra, that's a bit weird. Um, I'm going to need a good reason to risk my neck for you. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. She kind of has a point. Anton is a tool. He really is. He's a dickhead. Um, why do you think Anton is a tool? <laughs> we know why that is. What kind of reward are we talking about? The research I carry is valuable. I am willing to go halves with you. You're talking about the dude-based research, right? That's a bit... Oh, you know what? All right, I'll help you out. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. 
So I literally now lost the objective to retrieve Anton's uh, research. What would I get myself into if I help you out? Yeah. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. Oh god, she's sweet-talking me. Um... You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Okay. Um... Hmm... I'll help however I can. A Raptodon is an apex predator, native to the jungles of Monarch. They are entirely unsuited to life on Terra too, which may account for their horrible temper and appetite. Oh, that is interesting. So these Raptodons don't actually come from this planet. They've been moved here from the jungles of Monarch, and Monarch is the planet that we can't really go to anymore, so... You expect me to... T yeah, we kind of know what we need to do there, so... That was an unexpectedly scientific answer. What? Do not give me that look. I am allowed to have hobbies. Biology happens to be one of them. Yes, we accidentally released the Raps into the world when we attacked this place. But I am not at fault here. Those scientists had no business experimenting on these creatures. So the release was an accident. Um, wait here. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Hi. Wave, wave back. Can I wave back? Um, so the raptodons are right over there. But, yeah, yeah, Felix, I know. That's why I'm crouching, buddy. Um... Let's see if I can't find the ventilation system. This doesn't look like a friendly room now, does it? Vaughn's lab discovered. Okay, so there's more gas here. Um, and a lot of dead raptodons. Even a raptodon deserves better. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to agree with our buddies here. They really, they really want to stick it to the, the corporate people here. So, you know what? Let's... Um, continue with our plan. So we're gonna not eliminate the outlaws, we're gonna free them. But to do that, we should actually just tranquilize the raptodons as well. Because of course the raptodons haven't harmed anybody. Uh, I, what am I saying? Of course they've harmed everybody. But um, yeah, they were kind of forced, they were angry because they're not native to this planet. Now that we know that from uh, the, the woman over there. I kind of forgot her name. What was her name? Oh, I got a music box and it made it a little bit of a noise. That was nice. I forgot your name, ma'am. Cassandra, that was it. Because I'm named Sandra and she's Cassandra. Another redhead, by the way. Um, let's see. A Rapti Rot. There's some really funny melee weapons lying around. Oh, the Rapti Prod is actually a special weapon. So it's 175 electric damage. Shock damage, that is actually really cool. I don't really use melee weapons, so I might as well give that to either Felix or uh, Parvati. So Parvati has the Pulse Hammer. So I think I can give the Raptor Pro to, uh, to Felix here. And then he's using a grenade launcher at the moment, but we did pick... Ooh. The heavy machine gun we picked up is actually 400 DPS. It's also level 10 for some reason. Um, so, so that is that is nice. Can I actually modify that? No, I need to be at a, a weapons workbench probably. That's a really cool weapon. I want to see him use that in a minute. This terminal is also interesting. Complete experiment, emergency sample purge, view experiment log. Let's track that out. So far the musk extraction is coming along nicely. Pressure level seems to be staying even and variance in the sample seems to be at an acceptable tolerance. I thought these wraps smelled bad on the outside. Now that they've they're cut open, everyone is likely to avoid the lab for the rest of the day while I finish up. Wait a sec, there's some kind of commotion going on in the hall. An alarm just started going off. Must be another damn security system. And then he died. But I can recalibrate the experiment, complete the experiment, or emergency sample purge. What does recalibrating actually do? So there's another sedative. The Vortex Maze. Jesus Christ. There's some really cool weapons here. Oh, what's the Vortex Maze? 
Is that what I think it is? Yup. It's definitely what I think it is. Oh god, that's gonna hurt somebody. Um, but for now, let's go back to the plasma rifle. This does... I can't recalibrate... What does that actually do? Oh. There's more raptodons in the... In the pods. So what hap... I'm gonna do that. Recalibrate experiment. Deal with the abandoned experiment. And I leveled up from that. So that was the other quest, apparently. Um, I don't know what I really did there, but... There we go. Raptodon Musk. I did recalibrate, so I hope that was good. Let's check the skills and perks. So, I've put 5 points into ranged, so I can get the long guns critical damage plus 50%. Uh, and then I've put, um, I think it was 7 points into leadership, because that puts both inspiration and determination up to their next level. Well, perk, base skill unlock. Uh, and inspiration causes me to be able to order companions to do special attacks, so I think that's the left and the right on the D-pad. And then the Determination is the Inhaler heals you and your companions, but they get 30% of the healing effects. So now, if I heal, I heal my companions as well, so that's really, really nice. And then we get... Ooh, you can now command your companions, so there we go, left and right on the D-pad, that's good. Thank you, Auntie Cleo, for that. And then the perks, I think this is our final perk. Yeah, our final perk in the tier numero uno. So I think I'm just going to increase my sprint speed. So let's get Cheetah. There we go. And apply that. Just want to check out what else there is here. And both Felix and Pravati have leveled up as well. So I can select another perk. Uh, I think I should probably increase their... Hmm. So range damage, armor rating... Melee damage or damage to cowering enemies. Hmm. I feel like the range damage is going to be more important. Or maybe even the armor rating. But I'm going to deal with that, I assume. So there we go. Uh, range damage increased by 10%. And then we can basically do the same thing with Parvati. Although, increase your chance of looting molds when Parvati is in the party. That's also really cool. So let's grab that for Parvati. There we go. Um, let's go check out the Raptodons. So the Raptodons are down there. This place is actually pretty big. And I need to... I need to really... What was his plan, by the way? Wait. You're not mad at me, are you? No. No. You're definitely not mad at me. But... There is another terminal over there. So these guys have been taking out the Raptodons that come this close. But they're not going to come any closer. Okay, okay, okay. So there's more sed sedative gas. Aha, so this explains what we need to do. If your raptodons are cranky, you'll need to sedate them manually. Bring a few canisters of sedative and hook it up to the auxiliary terminal in the main research chamber. Okay, the other one doesn't really tell me much aside from the fact that raptodons are extremely aggressive. We kind of already knew that, but... Now the question is... So that's the place where all the ra Ooh, gold. That's a biggie. That is a really big monster. So definitely want to sedate those guys. Now, the main research station. Okay, luckily these guys make a hell of a lot of noise. So I know if I'm in an area with raptodons, like, like, like right now, for example. This is not... Okay. How are we gonna... Is there a way to go sneaky sneaky? Oh wait. Is that oh no. Is this the system? Oh god. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. Please don't trigger the raptodons. This seems like a receptacle. This is definitely it. There's like three receptacles here. How am I gonna do that without alerting them? So he's walking backwards. Is this it? It doesn't seem like it's it. Okay. Uh, that's a closed off door. So I'm going to make my way outside again. So I feel like this is not it. Those are the, definitely the raptodons, but I need to sedate them somehow. Oh, wait. 
There's another door here that I can actually open with Porter's key. Okay. Does this area have supporter's office? Great. There is a security console here, so let's check that out. And that's where we can print a security key card. Okay. So that was what Porter was talking about. Great, great, great. We're definitely moving along. Ooh. 10 bypass shunts and 10 magpicks. Inferno sight. <laughs> oh, that sounds awesome. Durable guards. No. And a model spaceship. Okay, let's grab all of that. I don't need the guards, I think. Um, let's grab all of that. Okay, so that gave us the security key. And he was actually trying to trip that with the magpick. Uh, that's step one, I would assume. Uh, so that was Anton's office, so we got to see that. But now there's also another security station over there. And I'm really wondering where I need to plug in the sedatives, because why isn't that marked? I feel like for, for it being such an important part of the the gate well this this level that it should be marked right or is is this it seems like a very bright orange circle with canisters right next to it but it doesn't seem like i can really do something here and this just seems like showers you damn turncoat we saw everything oh crap um Por porter saw everything i'm gonna have to talk to him um hi you must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. Um. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. You don't even know what I said then. Um. You sure you want to take me on? Nobody needs to die here. At least of all me. Ease off the trigger. Let me hear me out. Yeah. You got one minute. Starting now. Are you really gonna start a timer? I don't think you will. Um, I convinced Cassandra to let you leave in peace. The lab's a wreck. The staff's half dead anyway. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. Um, I mean, you did your job probably better than anybody expected you to. <laughs> don't reckon the company's gonna see it that way. Um, hmm. They aren't there. They aren't here. I'll say you fought like hell. Why throw more lives away, indeed? I let them walk. Doc Crane will be so far up my ass, everything will smell of flop sweat. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. So there we go. Those guys are gone. Um, but we still need, need to deal with the raptodons, and I don't see a way of actually getting... This is barred. There's a lot of ammo though, so I'm just gonna grab that. So we need to head back down. Great. So this hasn't solved anything yet. We, we talked those guys down, but that's not helping me out, is it? I mean, the problem is I really don't know what it's supposed to look like. Because I'm stopping at every round receptacle I see, but that, that just... It's it's starting to feel a little bit weird. Okay. Um, no. Every, everybody's still alive here. But there's another another room apparently that I haven't checked yet. Uh, there's another closed off door here. Can't keep us out. And it's just a janitor's closet. But it has a bit more stuff in it. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just a bit of ammo. And the last door opens up into a hallway. Which leads us back. Wait. We've been here already. God damn it, where's the ventilation system? <laughs> so, I mean, I've convinced the security guys to back out, I so. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Oh, yeah, Cassandra, you were definitely on, the, on my mind. Um, wait, she can actually leave now, right? Um, ask away. I have got nothing but time. What do you want to do with the research? Because I apparently can't tell her to leave. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists. But whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. Well, Cassandra, you can join our crew of merry redheads because we've been doing nothing else. Um, I'll be back. Because, I mean, apparently that's... 
Can I actually reach that? It says Pandor, but... I mean, that's that's not how this layout works, because I, I can't actually... It's right down there. So I could definitely go in here. And I think... So there are more Raptodons in here, but... If I manage to... Gold, there's a lot of them here. I'm just gonna grab these. That's the pen door. But I don't really want to kill the Raptodons. I've, I've been working so hard to actually get them to back off without a fight. But I don't know where to put these things in. This is uh, really annoying. Let's just open this up. Some more ammo. And I think... Yeah, they're all eating and sleeping. So I think if I just jump... Jump, jump, okay, no, never mind. I'm just gonna crawl over here. I don't think they, they see me already. So I'm just gonna go down here. And lock that. Finally. Open that up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move just yet. Wait, wait a second. Okay. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. But wait. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. No, not yet, not yet. Um, I, hold on, hold on, I'll be back. You have to fend for yourself against the raps, no. Hold on, please don't move, I have a plan. Oh God, uh, one of them woke up. Okay, never mind. There it goes. Okay. But those raptodons are dead. God damn it. God damn it. That was annoying. So one of them just saw me. There was one facing my direction, so... Nothing I could have done about that, because the game is... is okay. That was really enthusiastic all of a sudden. Um, the game really doesn't want me to put those uh, that sedative gas in there. So otherwise this would have been solved peacefully a while ago. Uh-huh. So in the back of the Raptodon cage, there seems to be an elevator. Let's use that. Oh, let's go. That doesn't... I thought it was going to go... What the hell was that? Eliminate the Outlaws Cassandra. That's not... Ooh, why is there an elevator inside of the... No, 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 no. I've seen... I've seen you assholes. What? Wait, why is there... Why am I acidy? Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna keep going. Um, Toss ball. That's one of those fancy inferno sites. And an outlaw. So if does this get us back to the main hallway? Yeah. Okay. So that's that barred door. It's basically a shortcut, but that still doesn't tell us where the ventilation system is. So there's two more areas we haven't checked yet. There's this downstairs area with all the raptodons. Let's try that first, because this seems big enough that I can actually bypass maybe some of the monsters. Or is that... Is that literally what I need to do? That over there. But there's literally one next to it. How the fuck am I gonna do this? So I've made a save. Look at that. <laughs> Those idiots got themselves a mama wrapped to done. So that one is the, the annoying one. So if I can just do this. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh God. No, 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 don't shoot. I can use the terminal. I can use the terminal. I can use the terminal. Oh, I cannot use while in combat. Okay, I'm gonna have to retry this. So they're commenting on the, the big mama raptodon. So that goes over there, and I think that one on the right hasn't seen me yet completely. So it's freaking out, but it hasn't seen me yet. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I think it saw me. Incoming. God damn it. Turning around, come on, turn around. Yeah, there it goes. Good. Turns around. Oh, look at how big she is. So now I can do... One, two, three. Why does it turn around again? Just go, 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 just go. 
Okay, that's step one. Step two is now getting to the complete opposite side of this thing without triggering the mama, the mama, the mama raptodon. So that one is moving away. Oh, the mama raptodon is moving away as well. Okay, so I think I got this now. Because if I can reach the terminal, I can gas the raptodons. And that probably includes the, the mama, the mama raptodon. And they can just go on their merry way after this. Although, of course, Anton is going to continue experimenting on them. But uh, use the terminal. Ventilate gas. Employees currently in the chamber that don't declare the... Okay. Does not cover gas and do his brain damage. Why is that so loud? Okay. I think they're down. I think they're down. There we go. Ta-da! I saved the Raptidonos. They're now just sleeping. I can't, of course... I can't really grab their, uh, their resources now, but look at this. Look at this cutie. That's a cutie, right? That's the face of a cutie. No, that's definitely not the face of a cutie, but let's just hope... Ooh, enclosed padded helm. Hmm, I'll just grab that with me. Okay, so Raptodon saved. I do wonder, does that now also count towards this room? Are these guys also? Nope. For some reason, these guys are not asleep. And of course, I want to be a completionist. So let's do the complete opposite thing as I promised to do. Although, you know, although... Wait a second. Oh. You picked the wrong damn day. Um, I hear people shooting at each other. I don't know why. What the? F what the hell is going on? So the raptodons are fine. So now I think I can talk to. What the hell just happened? I heard gunfire and stuff and all and lots of other stuff. So I did. Did everybody just start shooting at each other? Or did the security just die outside of the building? That was weird. But let's open this up. Hello, Cassandra. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. She's really flirting with me, isn't she? I've cleared both parts out of here. Don't make me regret it. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Um, hmm. I didn't save your life for free. I'm going to need you to turn over that research. I don't really care about the toothpaste research. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works Ooh, for free. That's more interesting, though. Okay. Come on, Cassandra. Throw in a little something for the orphans. <laughs> orphans. Is that what you are calling yourself now? Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. That's a 50% bonus, so uh, thank you. Keep the research, take care of yourself out there. Bye-bye. Bye, Cassandra. I was glad to help. Ooh, 24,000 experience. That's a lot. That's a lot. So last thing. Oh, return to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. That's good. Search for secrets in the Roseway. Okay. I don't really need that research. Although Gladys really wanted that research. Is there anything inside the building I still need to do? But well, I'm going to check out that last room. Uh, so this room. I've already checked what's in here because I just stopped because I heard all the gunfire. But I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit of loot here. Oh, they're so cute when they're sleeping. So yeah, I've also learned because of the loading screens that the consumables are actually mostly um, also used aside from healing to uh, boost up your skills temporarily. So you can actually finish off uh, skill checks and the like. Oh, they are they are really cute. I'm gonna kill Anton, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna go there and blast his face off. Um, but yeah, we can use that to temporarily boost our skills so we can actually do some skill checks that we would not otherwise be able to complete. But otherwise, I'm just gonna loot the place and uh, I'll see you guys outside. And then we're back outside, apparently right next to somebody called Lillian. Uh, hello? 
Hey there, you the lady Cass called about? Uh, I, I assume I am. Um, who, who's asking? Relax, I ain't with Auntie. I'm one of Cassandra's gun hands. Name's Lillian. Hi. Hope you're having a better time than us. Nice, nice to meet you, Lillian. Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all. I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Leastways, her pamphlets make good kindling. Okay. So, uh, bad day, huh? I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew got that going for me. Okay, um... Were they friends of yours? Some of them were okay. You don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well... Ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. Uh, okay. I, I know where this is going. You're busy, but if I fetched it, you'd pay me for my trouble. I look busy to you. It's surrounded by pissed off raptodons. My mama didn't raise no dumb asses. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. Don't tell me we're about to go fishing through a raptodon's guts. Um... Okay, where did you lose them? An outdoor raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. Ah, so they're not inside. Somewhere inside one of the sleeping raptodons right now. I'll come around if I get a, can get a hold. I'll come around. Um, yeah, sure. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. There are some weird side quests in this game, but with that, I'm gonna take a little break. So next time we're gonna head back, not to Gladys, but to the Roseway. Because in the Roseway, we're gonna see if uh, we can uh, try to talk to Anton and see how he's gonna react to the fact that we've betrayed his ass. But uh, we'll see about that next time. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, see you guys in the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.